are, yeah, that's right. It's 2021 and you're like, okay, I think I should have a personal brand. I want to have a personal brand. Where do I start? What do I need to do? Who do I need to be? Who do I need to talk to? And how do I grow on social media to get a following? Stick around if these are all the questions that you have, because in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to grow a personal brand in 2021. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jen Marilla, and this YouTube channel is for online business owners and people who basically wanna build an online business using social media. Today, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about personal branding in 2021, because if you don't have a personal brand nowadays, it's kind of like, what are you doing with your life, right? So, <laughs> Before we dive into it, I just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button and to give me a thumbs up if you're excited to learn about how to build a brand in 2021 and hit that bell for notifications because I drop these videos every week and they really do help me and my channel grow and I really appreciate you guys. Also, make sure you guys stick around to the very end because I have a surprise for you. And this video is sponsored by my latest freebie, the online business checklist. It's in the description below. I'll tell you more about it later, so make sure you stick around. Now, let's get into it. Let's talk about building a brand in 2021 and what it actually takes. Now, when I started my personal brand, I started it six years ago. By the time this is filmed, yes. By the time this video is out, it will have officially been six years since I've launched my personal brand. And I started as a travel blogger. I started creating, creating, creating content as a travel blogger and not just any travel blogger. I was traveling for good, right? I actually launched this YouTube channel when I launched my blog. So I've had this YouTube channel for quite some time and I didn't really, I wasn't really consistent. I was known for doing the travel videos, but video wasn't my forte kind of thing, right? So anyways, I started this brand as a travel blogger, also known as the Social Girl Traveler. Today, I'm formally known as Jen Morella because that is my name, but over the years, I've built this brand, AKA my personal brand, because I've had so many years of experience of entrepreneurship between building an online business, having my own social media business prior to building that online business, and then in 2018, when I decided to expand into an online business mentor, that was a whole different ball game because then I relaunched this YouTube channel in 2019 with these informative videos, right? So my point is that it takes time to build an online brand. And there are certain things you definitely need in order to build an online brand. And in this video, I'm really gonna walk you guys through the methods that I think are what you need to build an online brand this year in 2021. So now that you know how I started, one of the biggest things that I find that people don't really realize when they're building an online brand is that essentially you're becoming an expert in your space. You're becoming a leader in your space. So show up as a leader, like legitimately show up as a leader and own who you are. And that obviously takes a lot of mindset work because I know, <laughs> been there, done that, that the imposter syndrome creeps in. You think your market is saturated. You're worried about what people will think of you. Like we get all that. And that's the mindset work that needs to happen. But when that doesn't exist, it's really owning your stuff and being a leader in your space. So how do you become a leader? You get crystal clear on what you do for people. How do you help people? Who's your target audience, right? Like what do they need you for? And what are you, what's the problem that you're gonna solve for them? And that's the biggest question I always tell my, my clients to ask themselves is what is the problem that you're solving? When you answer that, put that everywhere. And what I mean is put that on your Instagram bio, put it on your Facebook page, put it on your TikTok, put it on your Clubhouse app. Yes, Clubhouse, we all know Clubhouse now. If you don't, check out my new coming video about it, but I digress. Anyways, <laughs> you wanna make sure that when you are an expert in your space, you are screaming it at the top of your lungs and you are letting people know that you help people solve X problem, right? And if you don't know what that is yet, it's okay because over time you will figure it out, I promise. As I mentioned before, it took me four years, four years to get to where I am today, right? To be able to say I am a online business mentor and I have a six figure business and I teach online entrepreneurs how to build a brand. And I started with sponsorships and brand collaborations. I worked with huge brands, right? To be able to get to where I am today and be able to say that. So first step is you wanna get crystal clear on who you're serving and make sure you're saying exactly that. So for example, if you're a money coach, say you are literally a money coach and you help people get out of debt. 
you want to put that on your Instagram bio. You want to put that on your Facebook bio. You want to put that every single where, making sure, letting people know that you are an expert in that specific category. Now, when I say you're an expert and you have to share that in your specific category, I also mean you have to talk you have to, no, you have to walk the talk, right? Which means that you have to be a leader. How do you do that? When I say you have to be a leader, what I'm referring to is walking the walk, right? Like show people the life you're living. If you say you're an expert in that space. A good example of this is people actually pay attention to me when I'm actually doing the act. So what I mean is like when I'm out there networking, creating workshops, um, actually like traveling, creating content, doing all those types of things. As an online business mentor, people listen to me because they're seeing me live my life as if that is exactly what I do. So if you're someone who says that they are a business mentor and you've never launched a business, then you should probably go back and launch a business first so that you know you are exactly an expert in that space. Does that make sense, you guys? Because I think that's where people get really confused. It's like, how do you be a leader in this space? A personal brand in 2021 is literally asking you be a leader and so how would you show up as a leader if you were an expert in that space now this is a good time for me to mention to you that i have my freebie below my online business checklist for you guys to download so if you're just starting a business from scratch I promise this checklist is for you. You're gonna wanna download it. It's quality content and I give you guys exactly what you should be doing if you're just starting to build an online business, an online personal brand in 2021. You can download this checklist. I give you examples. I even give you guys resources for where to get started. So click in the description below and get that link. It's totally free. All right, now let's get back to it. The next thing you wanna do is pick a platform. And this is something I talk about all the time. When I started my personal brand six years ago, I made the mistake of being on every single platform all the time. Number one, you burn out a lot quicker. <laughs> number two, it's exhausting. And number three, it's kind of that saying where you're the jack of all trades, where you're really good at everything but not good at one thing. So it's not really something you wanna do. My recommendation that it is that in 2021, you pick one platform and you kill it in that one platform. So for example, if you wanna kill it on TikTok because that's where everyone's at right now, kill it on TikTok and then push your audience to Instagram and then YouTube, right? If you wanna kill it on YouTube, kill it on YouTube and then push your audience to Instagram and TikTok, etc. You get the picture, but that's what I mean. You have to pick one platform to own. I promise you guys, it makes your life a lot easier and it takes away the stress. And if you're thinking about which platform to pick, my advice would be to figure out where your audience is and wherever your clients are is where you need to be. The next step would be creating consistency and adding emotion. So when I say creating consistency, if you've picked the one platform that you're gonna utilize and be an expert in, it's showing up consistently on that platform. So if you're gonna be on TikTok, you should be dropping anywhere between two to three TikToks a day and then pushing that out everywhere, right? If you're gonna be on Instagram, you should be on Instagram and not just like posting once a day, you should be doing reels, you should be doing posting, IG lives, you should be on your stories nonstop, right? So that's the platform that you're on showing up consistently. Another big thing to consider is your logo, your brand colors, like is it through and through throughout? That is so important because one, it shows professionalism and two, it resonates with people's eyes. So if someone is seeing you very consistently on a psychological level, if they know your brand colors, every time they see them, they will think of you. If you don't believe me, think of McDonald's. Every time you see red and yellow, I guarantee you, you think of McDonald's. <laughs> All right, that leads me to the emotional part, right? So when I mean emotion is when someone sees you online, when someone goes to your website, when someone connects with you, what's the feeling that you want them to feel? Guys, and the reason why this is so important is because 2021 is all about connections. We live in a world where it's a digital base, especially if you're watching this during the global pandemic, right? People need that human connection. So online space, no longer do the robots work, no longer do the automated systems. Like none of that works anymore. What works is actually connecting with your audience. So if you can have an emotional connection with your audience, I'm telling you it is 
it is it's gold it's gold so my advice to you is that you really figure out what it is that you want your audience to feel when they connect with you yeah so you really you really want to take a step back and ask yourself what you want your audience to feel when they connect with your brand when they see your brand colors when you show up on social media and you want to emulate that a thing that i really like to do is create like a vision board for your audience or like just sit down and jot a bunch of notes down based on what they're struggling with, what you're helping them with, and how you want them to feel when they've already had the transformation that you are going to provide to them. An example is me. I get the feedback that I give my audience a lot of motivation, inspiration, and I make it feel like it's possible. And I, I truly pride myself in that because it is possible. If I can do it, you can do it. There's literally no reason why you can't. You just have to take the action and choose to commit to the action you want to take. Okay, that leads me to my next step, research. Now, as an entrepreneur, you have to be creative and you have to be innovative. As I said earlier, you have to pick an, a niche. You have to be an expert in a space, right? And you just have to pick one thing to start. And then you can add on things over time as people really get to know you and like you, etc. But you want to start off with one thing and it's going to be a test. And what I mean is, you're going to have to change your bio. You're going to see what works, what doesn't work for your Instagram posts. You're going to see what people like and what people don't like. I recently posted very first time a quote and a picture of me. I've never done that on my page and it did really freaking well. So chances are I'm going to do that again, right? I do TikToks and reels and there are certain TikToks and certain reels that people really like. And I research that based on the data. If, the outcome of one is better than the other, then I'm going to do more of the other one, right? So that's what you guys have to consider when I say research is really do A-B testing, figure out what your audience really likes and what they don't like. And it's okay to kind of mess it up and ebb and flow, get creative and get innovative because that's what makes you an entrepreneur. And that's what allows you to build a personal brand that is credible to you. Another really good example is my YouTube channel. I started this channel in 2019 and it was on social media, but the very first few videos that I dropped were a lot of mindset. And then I did some social media stuff. And basically after three months of having that type of content, I analyzed on in the data what did better and what didn't do as good. And I realized that yes, the mindset stuff is really good, but I actually, you guys actually really enjoy social media stuff. So what did I do? I posted more social media stuff, right? This leads me to my very last tip. Before you build a personal brand, before you go out of your way to create a website, fix that Instagram bio, do the whole thing. I really want you to ask yourself, what is the intention behind this business? Because this is the thing, you guys, if you don't know your why or you don't know the intention, and when I say intention is what is the outcome you want someone to do or to receive when they're watching you on the other side, when they're watching you on social media, when they're watching you on YouTube, wherever it is that you're going to be. Answer that question first, because when you can answer that question wholeheartedly, then the content that you distribute and everything that you put out will come from that place. And remember, as long as you're adapting and flowing and doing the research, it gets so much easier. And give yourself the grace to know that it's okay to mess up. It's supposed to be a test, right? So give yourself the grace to know that, yeah, it's going, you're going to mess up and it's okay. You wanna have a little bit of strategy and you wanna have a lot of intention. And that's something I always tell my clients is regardless of what you're posting, whatever you're putting out there, whatever it is that you're selling, ask yourself, what is the intention behind what it is that you're creating? Because when you know what the intention is, then you know what you can create and you know that whoever's going to receive it is going to have a good experience. So now that you know what it takes to build a brand in 2021, I want to remind you guys that I have my online business checklist, my free online business checklist. So head over to the description below and download that document that is literally just for you. You, don't forget to tag me and reach out to me on Instagram and let me know that you liked it. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know if it's working for you, but definitely go check that out because you do not want to miss that checklist. It is so good. And until next time, my friends, I will see you next week and I will talk to you.